Hey, this is Steve with Data Lab, and this is the third video in a multi-part tutorial on building Alexa skills using Twilio Autopilot. Before continuing, please make sure that this video hasn't been updated, and you can do that by checking the description. If you see a link to an updated video, go watch that one to stop watching this one so that you don't waste any time watching an outdated tutorial. Okay, getting back to it. So in the last video we left off, we talked about creating tasks and we talked about adding samples to tasks so that the things that a user says can be recognized and associated with a task and we did uh, we, we set up this task here we called uh, operating hours and a user can say you know what are your hours or um, when do you open when do you close and our assistant slash skill will respond with this here our hours are from 9 a.m to 6 p.m and in this part we're going to look at collecting information from a user and we can do that using an action called the collect action and what we're going to do is we're going to what are we going to do we're going to add a new task that's going to let users rate our service um, so we'll call actually there's going to be two tasks that we need to set up we'll set up one and call it um, um I guess service rating and then we're going to set up another one and call it service rating confirm and this is going to be the task that's going to confirm when somebody is has done the, the rating so the service rating uh, let's first wire up the samples for this so let's go to the natural language router and add some samples um, rate your service service rating and i'll say submit a SUV, submit a rating and the service rating. Okay, and then we need to prompt the user for this. So we'll go back over here to task builder and go to our hello world task. And we'll say here, um, what can we say? Hello, you can ask me for our operating hours or you can rate our service. S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, there we go. Um, which would you like to do? Do, do, and we'll save that. So now, so now we're prompting the user when the skill is invoked with this message here, and we're listening for them to respond. And if they respond with, they want to rate the service over here we're going to add a new action and this time we're going to add an action that is going to prompt the user for their service rating and to do that we're going to use a new type of action called collect and collect like the name implies is going to let us collect information from the user really easily and we're just going to uh, we're going to just collect the service rating but the collect action can let you collect multiple questions so you can use it to make it really simple um, to create a, like a whole list of uh, questions that can go right in a row so if you want to do something more complex than what we're doing here you can easily do that but let me, I'm gonna copy and paste in here rather than typing it out, one that I've previously done. And talk through what's in here. So um, on collect here, there's, when you use this action, it's a little more complex than the say and the listen actions, but what we're gonna do here, and actually I don't need this, get rid of that. So um, there's 
an on complete here. And so on complete in the collect is going to tell the collect action what to do when the action is finished up, when the user's responded. And in this case here, we're going to redirect to service rating confirm. Let me change this. Like that. Um, and this could also redirect to a URL. And I'm going to go over that in a uh, one of the later videos and talk about using um, or posting information to a, uh, a URL to save it to a backend or grab information from a backend. That'll be a later one. And uh, down here under the, the questions, so you can see this is an array and I could have multiple questions here. We've just got one for right now. Um, uh, actually, let's make another question here. We'll, we'll make another one, put another one in here and we'll call it, or we'll ask the user. That, so the first one is, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate our service? And we're calling this, this ratings, we'll call this rating scale. And then the second question we're gonna ask here is, uh, yes. The type is gonna be yes, no. And by the way, the documentation is really good for this. So uh, there's a link that you can get to from the documentation in the on the like main screen when you log into or after you're logged in, but in the console when you go to the autopilot main screen, there's a link to the documentation. But these uh, types, which I'm going to get into in more detail later, but for right now, um, the question type that we're going to be asking is a yes, no question. And we're going to say something like, um, would you recommend you, you send us to a friend? And we're going to call this rating recommend. And I'm going to save that. Okay, I have a syntax error, which is where? Probably this. Yep, that was it. Extra comma in there. Okay, so this looks good. And let's make sure. So the service rating confirm. Let's fix that up a little bit. We'll just change this so that it says, um, thank you for your feedback. This is very to us. All right. Um, I think that has got it. Let's check our samples just to make sure that we've got a sample. So submit a rating. Um, and I'll add one more rate your service. Ah, that's enough. Okay, so now let's go and, and rebuild this. We'll create a new uh, model build. And this one is going to be v0.0.2. And it's building now, but it shouldn't take long. Probably be done now, four seconds. And so now we can go test it out. Go back over here and Hello, you can ask me for our operating hours or you can rate our service. Which would you like to do? Rate your service. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate our service? I'm gonna say 10. Would you recommend us to a friend? <laughs> I spelled recommend wrong, but um, yes, I would. Thank you for your feedback. This is very important to us. Okay, and so you can see that is collecting information from a user or collecting responses from a user. Really simple to do. Uh, we're using, again, the it's the collect action. And um, yeah, so really easy. In the next video, we're gonna talk about, what are we gonna talk about? In the next video, we're gonna talk about um, posting this to a URL. And right now, we're, we're collecting everything, but we're not doing anything with it. 
uh, in the next video, we'll talk about um, actually doing something with what we've collected. So hopefully this was helpful. If this was helpful and you liked the video, please like it on YouTube. If you have any comments or questions, you can ask those and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. And if you're not subscribed to the Dabble Lab channel, please do so. Thanks so much.